everybody, it's Sherry. I just wanted to show you another Christmas in July project. And what I did was I cut out some mittens on my Cricut. And let me see. They are uh, about six inches. And so they're about six inches tall. And I cut them all out from the same paper that I had, that I had, I went through a lot of my Christmas pads last year and took out the ones that I really liked and then the ones that I didn't think I would, that I liked, my daughter-in-law liked a lot of those, so she took the rest. So this is what I had left from this one pack and so I used it for these mittens and it's got daddy and mom, that's me, dad and mom and then we've got Danae. And then we've got Jesse, and I cut the names out on my Cricut too. And then we've got, uh oh, we're tangled. Hang on. We've had a, a problem here. And we have Mariah, <coughs> then Zach, then Marquette, which is Zachary's wife. Zach's my son. And then there is my grandbaby, Azrael. And I'm kind of kicking myself. I wish I had cut out pieces for the back because I had thought about, originally I had thought, well, I'll, I'll hang it across the window in the, in, the fan, or in the front room. And then I had realized I had forgotten to cover the back and I ran out of this paper. I only had enough to do the fronts. So... I think instead of putting it in the window, I will either put it up against the wall or hang it beneath the mantle on the fireplace. So I don't have a picture of it put up yet. I still have to decide how far apart I'm going to leave everything and then I will tape the back so that it doesn't move. And I just use some, what is this stuff called? It's called, it's from Crafter Square. It's jute twine. I got it either last year or the year before. Let me see where it came from if I can tell you. Um, Greenbrier International. Isn't that the Dollar Tree? I think that's the Dollar Tree. And uh, so I got it there and it's got, it's got a lot, a hundred feet of twine on it. And uh, so that's my Christmas in July project for today. I am loving doing this. It is so much fun. And I will put these, once I get them figured out where I want them to hang and how far apart, I'll tape them up, fold them back and forth on each other and put them in an envelope and they will go in my Christmas box until we start decorating for Christmas in December. So. I got it all worked out, or at least I think I do. <laughs> More like I probably think I do. So I hope you guys like this. If you have any questions, leave them below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and a comment below letting me know what you think. Thanks for visiting me today, guys, and happy crafting. Bye.